Hello viewers, a good and productive day to all. This is Captain RKK and I hope it is also a protected day in these times of COVID-19. This video lecture for is meant for online teaching uh, as a lesson for how to draw three-point bearing fits and what are the benefits and the beauty of a three-point bearing fix. We'll be broadly discussing the following points. What is a three-point bearing fix? What is its significance? I will also be giving you some exercises towards the end of this lesson, along with some guidance notes. And I will also be showing you a worked example on how to plot a three-point bearing fix with good accuracy on a plain sheet of paper or a ruled paper systematically. What are the assumptions which are made that we'll be talking about later? Why is it better than a running fix? And as I said, why is it beautiful? And when and which areas you may need to navigate using this technique? These are the broad aspects we'll be discussing with worked examples and animated PowerPoint. A three-point bearing fix is basically you have a single lighthouse or any single fixed object. Take three bearings of that object. You can straight away find what is the course that you are making good. We don't have to know anything about your engine speed. What is the course you're steering? None of that. All you know that is that you've been ste steering a steady course between the first bearing and the last bearing. And the assumption is that the, between the first bearing and the last bearing, there may be current, but the current is not changed direction or rate. That is a simple assumption. Mostly in the open sea, if there are currents, the current will be influencing you in the almost the same direction and the same rate. At least for a short span of between the first bearing and the third bearing, maybe about one hour or so, okay. In that way, it is much better than a running fix because in running fix, we made an assumption that there is no current, there is no wind drift. That's not the same case with respect to three-point bearing. The areas in which you will find this method of finding position of the ship and finding how to keep clear of oncoming dangers, we will be discussing through a slide presentation during the course of this presentation. As I told you, you just need a fixed object. You don't have to know what object it is. If it's a mountain peak. You don't have to know the name of the mountain peak. You don't have to, have to even identify. It could be a ship at anchorage. And you're passing a little far off from a port, but the outer anchorage, you have a ship. If you have just identified one ship and take three bearings, Baba, you know your course made good. Such a wonderful concept it is. Hello, just come a little closer. I will tell you a secret. You don't have a tree. You don't have palm trees. You don't have any single object, no mountain peaks. Still, you can do three-point bearing. You know how? Just ask your girlfriend or boyfriend to come and stand ashore close to the coastline and take three bearings. And you don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend? No problems. Just send your cadet ashore in a speedboat. Ask him to stand on a shoreline about 20 degrees on your bow. As the ship goes along, take three bearings and continue sailing. Just make sure the cadet comes back from shore. That was a joke, but jokes apart, Please know that a cadet, a good cadet, a knowledgeable cadet, disciplined cadet is a bone on the ship. He is the right hand man of the chief officer. There is no denying the importance of a cadet on board a ship. Now we go on to the proper three point bearing with animated presentation. 
Aha, your girlfriend is coming, pushing away the light offs. So you've asked your girlfriend to stand on the shore line. You're going to take three bearings of your girlfriend or your wife, depending on your age and whether you're married or not. And then we go on how to make use of that shore object. Now I cannot call it an object, it's a being. How to make use of it? The only request you have to make to your girlfriend to stand still and not go into a dancing pose. So you have plotted your three bearings. And then what you do, draw a 90 degree interrogation line, the blue line, watch my cursor always, 90 degrees to the middle bearing, preferably 90 degrees. Theoretically, it can be at any angle, but if you draw it at an angle of 90 degrees, your drawing accuracy improves. The principle used in three-point bearing fix is what we learned in simple geometry in our A standard or 9th standard. How to divide a line into seven equal parts without using a centimeter scale. Do you people recall? You just have a compass and a plane ruler. And this is a simpler version of that. So we continue. Once you have drawn the line, look at the time interval between the three bearings. 20 minutes, 40 minutes is the ratio. The time ratio is 20 is to 40. That is one unit is to two units, or you can call it four nautical miles is to eight nautical miles, six, 12, eight, 16. The bigger, the better, because it in, gives you more drawing accuracy, as you will see now. Cut off six miles. I'm using this six miles is to 12 miles. Cut off six miles on the interrogation line. On this side, cut off 12 miles. Between this and this is 20 minutes. Between this and this is 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, 40 minutes. So six is to 12. Transfer your middle bearing. Got it? So simple. Then just join this point and this point with a line and that is your course made good. It is not track made good. Please understand. It is not giving your position anywhere. All it says is, my friend, you took three bearings of me, you plotted. Now I am telling you, this green line is your course made good. Just measure it against your compass rows. You get what is your course made good in degrees. So wonderful. This is the only data we had. We didn't have to know what was the name of the ship, speed of the ship, course of the ship, what object this is. You can just plot it on a plain sheet of paper or any place in the chart. Okay, that's the beauty of, like, this could be a ship at anchorage instead of a lighthouse or your girlfriend or, or it could be a mountain peak deep inland. All you will get three bearings and during this period, between nine o'clock to 10 o'clock, there may be current, but the current is constant. Not like running fix. The current may be any direction, any strength, but during this one hour, it has neither changed the direction nor the strength. Now, what is the use of it? I told you what kind of a coastlines. Just look at this. It's a sandy coastline. You will not be able to get good radar fixes. And as I told you in the running fix lecture, 
GPS is something which you have to forget. GPS cannot be the primary means of position fixing. That is path of wisdom and that is also rule. Bridge watch keeping procedures. Now you have got a, some unknown peak here and this was your planned track. You were steering a course of 086. You were thinking that you are on the planned track. You have not been getting fixes, but suddenly you found a mountain peak. Now you are going to use it for a three-point bearing. This was your blind DR. Absolute guesswork. Now you got a three-point bearing, and that after plotting the watchmakers of 0 0.1, 0 0.3 third second, three bearings you have plotted, and you found out this red line is your course made good, 0, 078 degrees true. It is not your track made good, it is your course made good. Now, how you can use it now? Just look at this. So what does it indicate? We were steering a course of 086, but we are making good a course of 078. That means we were steering about 8 degrees to the port of our course steered. Therefore, if we start steering 094, then we will be going parallel to the planned track for the rest of the passage. And as I told you to repeat, current may be there, but it is constant for the rest of the passage. In most of the ocean going places, when you're coasting along Arabian coast where most of the Arabian ports will be like this. There won't be any lighters for 100 miles. And it's a sandy shore. You will not be getting good radar fixes. And the shore is also very slowly rising. So even if you have a 1 meter, 2 meter tidal variation, your position accuracy by radar distances will be way out. Three-point bearing, very old system of navigation comes to your aid. Forget GPS. Theoretically speaking, you have to steer a little more than 8 degrees, but we'll ignore that. Okay. So what we do? X1 and X2 are your possible estimated positions. Now, you have started steering 094. 8 degrees to the left of it is 086. You will be going parallel at to your plan track for the rest of the voyage and clearing the shallow patch, clearing the shallow patch. If the shallow patch is somewhere here, you steer perpendicular to this for a length of time and then steer 094. That, as I told you in the running fix class, is the art of navigation. Now we will go to certain variations on your running fix, actual problems worked out. So variation one, the same fundamentals. I'm not going to change that. All this is same. Course steered is 100. Your speed over water is 13.8 knots. The current direction is 349 degrees true. When I talk about speed over water, the log speed, log speed is easier to find out than engine speed. Engine speed is subject to so many variations. The RPM of the propeller, the slip of the propeller, and so many things are variable. It is only a guesswork. Whereas, whether it's a Doppler or any type of other logs, speed over water is something you can find out and to reasonable accuracy. Now, Current direction is given, 3, 4, 9 degrees true. Rate is not given. Let us just analyze this. Is it a good assumption to make? Where did you get this direction from? It may be your ocean currents from your uh, ocean passages of the world or your planning charts, routing charts, current direction is given. And seasonally, it will vary. But during a particular period of time, we are just talking a duration of about one hour, please understand. And you can definitely 
the rate of current may be changing but definitely you can the direction of the current will not be changing much one precaution can you use with reliable accuracy a direction of the current as per the prediction in tidal waters you have to use three point bearing fix with certain precautions with a pinch of salt but it can be done if you are an intelligent user and you can interpret the tidal tables tidal diamonds smartly and intelligently as a good watch keeping officer i do not want to digress much at this stage but i will be giving you certain tech tips and techniques towards the end of this video on how to use it practically and how to draw the three point fix without errors during your examinations and with that we get back to the main video lecture let's demonstrate after this it's the same exercise this was your green line was your course made good it's not the track made good now you measure the course made good to get the answer it is 087 degrees true now draw in your course here and get your 10 o'clock dr at this speed at this speed what will be your 10 o'clock dr then draw in the direction of the current 349 degrees true now what does it indicate if you were here at 9 o'clock taking into account that water speed and your direction of the current you will be somewhere along this red line but if you are here at 9 o'clock this is going to be your course made good absolutely no doubt about it therefore you will be here at 10 o'clock if you were here at 9 o'clock but you are somewhere along this line 030 degrees at 9 o'clock something similar to a running fix transfer it i am still putting a triangle signal because it is still a best estimated position but you can almost call it a fix because the error in assumption of direction of the current is very very little in most of the places in the world so this is your 10 o'clock fix and as i told you for your exam purposes post mortem will be done where were you at 9 o'clock so draw your course made good backwards this is where you would have been at 9 o'clock now find now just see here there is a shallow patch this shallow patch you would have completely missed out if you are thinking that you are on this line your course steered line now you found course made good and you are applying the course made good and you find you are going to pass very near the shallow patch you can take evasive action by going to starboard for about half an hour or one hour or two hours as the case may be that is again the beauty of a three point bearing fix now we will go on to variation number 2 here course steered log speed 13.8 knots everything is given the current direction is not known the rate is 5 knots this is not so accurate because the, normally the current changes rate during tidal waters but not the direction direction is changed only during the slack water anyway for the exam purpose the rate of the current is known how to plot your position just think on it for about a minute so shall we start same logic same everything three point etc you found your course made good 
to remind you again, it is not your track made good, it is just your course made good. Let us assume you are here at 9 o'clock. You will be here at 10 o'clock. Base 6, course tiered is 100 degrees, 13.8 knots. Aha! Now somebody else has come and pushing your girlfriend away. Never mind. Maybe you just got married and you've changed your wife to a modern girl so that she can sail with you on the ship and be modern. Watch this. So, five knots. You just draw an arc of five knots with this as center where it cuts. These are the two possible places where you have to transfer your position line. What is the logic? If you are here at 9 o'clock, if this had been the direction of the current, the rate is given 5 knots, this would have been your dr. Or if this has been the direction of the current, this would have been the dr. If this was your 9 o'clock position, but 9 o'clock you were somewhere along this line, Therefore, ten o'clock you will be somewhere along the two red lines. There are two possible positions. Okay, at ten o'clock you were also got a bearing of three to three degrees. Therefore, these are the two possible positions. Again, as I told you during the running fix class, assume that position which puts you into danger and take avoiding action. Whichever is closest to you, the danger, assume that is your position. Navigation is to take the ship safely from A to B. Safety cannot be compromised at any stage, even if you have to increase the voyage distance by any number of miles, but normally a couple of miles. Any doubts on this so far? Now we go to one more variation, and that is one position is given as shown at 10 o'clock. That means when you reach this position, maybe with respect to some other lighthouse, you got another bearing. Therefore, you found a fixed by two simultaneous bearings. But the question now is, if you can find out my current and rate, then I can apply that for my future navigation. I can make use of it. So can I find out the current direction and rate? Very practical question. I know I am here, but I am going to go on a particular track here. Should I steer the same as the track or should I steer little more or little less to allow for the current? That means I must know what is the current. So how do we do that now? Think on it. Using the three point bearing, you have to find the current which has been influencing you for the last one hour. And you are going to assume that the same current will be influencing you for some more time, maybe for the next three hours, or in an ocean where you are coasting along an Arabian coast or Saudi Arabia coast or any straight line coast. The current is not going to change direction and speed just like that. Let's see. So, transfer your course made book backwards. You are here at 10 o'clock. You must have been here at 9 o'clock. From 9 o'clock, you were steering this course. You would have been here at 10 o'clock. 
if there was no current but you are here at 10 o'clock therefore this must be the direction and rate of current the direction and rate of current now your future track may be in a different direction apply this current and counteract the current and happily sail on got it any doubt up to now remember that when we are discussing variation 1 always watch my cursor variation 1 is it safe to assume that the current direction may be remaining constant even in tidal waters that means can you rely on the predictions if you are an intelligent user you can do so i will be discussing that plus some tips on how to draw a three point fix in a examination without making silly mistakes these two aspects we'll be discussing maybe for a couple of minutes and after that i will be telling you how to practice three point bearing in this coronavirus time on a plain sheet of paper because you may not have the chart in front of you okay so we start on the tidal diamond part of it so this is the tidal diamond as given on the bristol channel chart for various positions on the chart this is what the flooding and ebbing effect will be so look at the circles which i have marked out here okay now you are in position a somewhere close to position a for the good 3 hours here the current is hardly changing direction by a couple of degrees here the same here for almost 4 hours the direction of the current is almost the same the speed may be changing from 1.6 knots to 0.1 knots but the direction is almost remaining the same see here for nearly 4 hours see here for nearly 5 hours the direction is not changing much by only 1 degree but the speed is changing considerably so under the circumstances if you have no choice but to find your position of the ship only using a three point bearing which may happen if you are a smart user you can still use the tidal diamond not the directions yes you can assume these directions and in any case a three point bearing fix is going to talk about if there is current there is no variation between the first hour bearing and the third hour bearing and for a future so many hours in this case if you had plotted your position at high water after 1 hour for the next Three hours, the current is not going to change direction, and your course made good is not going to change. So that is an intelligent user. Many people will say, "Ah, it's all humbug. It's all humbug. You know, it's not reliable, etc." Ah, seamanship prevails. Seamanship is the ultimate. It prevails, but seamanship means not blind faith, not blind instinct, but intelligent use of instincts. Do not have your head in the clouds but your feet are firmly planted on the earth this is the criteria when you have to use a three point bearing fix in tidal waters and imagine in you know places like english channel singapore strait where there is a tidal influence and many places on the earth you may have a lot of lighthouses but do not assume that you will be able to see all the lighthouses for a simultaneous bearing for the simple reason in those places generally there is restricted visibility so in normal visibility you may have three lighthouses visible at any given time during restricted visibility you will be fortunate to see the loom of a single lighthouse so with that i go on to the next aspect the exam aspect now we see this 
What is the error I find that many people make in the examination? Keep watching my cursor. Is there are too many lines here? I have drawn all the lines with different colors, but you will be drawing all the lines in black and white with pencil mark. And I find many people make a mistake, like instead of transferring the third way, first bearing to this area, they are transferring this purple line and here. That is a silly mistake. And there is no room for silly mistakes on the bridge. And therefore, in the examination. So how to be self-disciplined to avoid such silly mistakes? It's not that you do not know how to do it, but you're doing it in a hurry and make silly mistakes. Is rub off all the extra lines. Watch mine. You've drawn, transfer the middle bearing here. Just make a tick mark here and tick mark here and rub off all this portion. That five seconds spent on rubbing off is worth its weight in gold. Remember, all the extra lines you rub it off. When you're transferring this bearing to this location, the first bearing to this location as the red line, do not draw a long red line. Just draw the red line a little bit more, a little bit on this side, but not a wrong red line. Because you're not going to draw a red line, you're going to draw a pencil black line. Then when we talked about assuming the direction of the current, 3, 4, 9, you know, watch my cursor here. Supposing this is not 3, 4, 9. This is out by 10 degrees on either side. So instead of here, you're going to transfer the position here. If your assumption was out by even 10 degrees, the positional error is hardly anything. And that is the beauty of a three-point bearing fix with assumed prediction of current. With assumed prediction of current, you can still use it intelligently even in tidal waters if you have to do it. I'm not saying that if you have some other options of getting a fix more reliably, please follow that but not GPS, please understand. GPS needs to be cross-verified all the time. That is the rule, that is path of wisdom as I keep telling you. Now, I'll be taking you on to how to draw a three-point bearing on a plain sheet of paper for practice purposes during these times when you don't have a chart in front of you. And once you do the practice, as when you put it on the chart, all I'm going to say is, please, this is not your girlfriend. This is Bishop Rock Lighthouse. Now, look at this numerical. Very simple. Draw the three bearings as shown. Use a scale of one centimeter to two nautical miles. This scale I will be giving in several of the exercises which I'll be giving you. So you got your three bearings. Next, what we'll do? Come on. Draw the interrogation line, 90 degrees to the middle bearing. Then 30 minutes, 20 minutes. 3 is to 2 is the ratio. 6 centimeters, 4 centimeters. 3 is to 2. Transfer the middle bearing. This is the middle bearing. Transfer the middle bearing. This black line is your course made good. Course made good. Read it. All these vertical lines you can use as meridian. So when you read it, it is reading 076 degrees. Okay. Now, current direction is 100. Can I find a fix? So draw your coast here, 065. 19.2 knots divided by 2 is so many centimeters. 
mark out your dr position at 0750 50 minutes that is 19.2 into 5 divided by 6 16 miles that's equal to 8 centimeters and then draw the direction of the current 100 where it cuts your coast made good that is the place where you have to transfer your first position line first position line where it cuts the last bearing that is your 0750 fix in fact i have put here dr you can almost call it as a fix any doubts on this so far so just do some happy practicing as promised in the beginning of this video lesson i am giving you a few exercises to practice and appreciate the beauty of three-point bearing fixing methods this slide shows you exercises one to three you can freeze it and note it down this slide shows you exercise number four and five you can freeze it and note it down these two exercises are somewhat difficult i wouldn't say difficult challenging and i'm sure it can be done if you can stretch your imagination a little bit it's very simple actually just note it down and think on it now it is time to say thank you for watching and thank you for understanding and my biggest thank you is for practicing and as i am seeing this slide a thought comes to me why not present to you in this lesson itself the solved worksheets for exercise number one to five i'm sure you are mature enough not to refer to the following slides but to practice the exercises and complete them on your own with or without mistakes that is not a problem i'm sure that you will be able to do it on your own steam now i'll be showing you the solved worksheets this is exercise number one you can note it down freeze it and refer to it if necessary this is exercise number two again you can freeze it and refer if necessary this is exercise number three you can freeze it and refer to it if necessary at all now we go on to exercise number four where bearings are taken from two different lighthouses not from the same lighthouse now we go on to exercise number five this again a position from one lighthouse and two bearings from two different lighthouses and think on it and even as you see the worked example this is not the only method by which it can be solved there is no need to create a phantom lighthouse it can be done in some other fashion and to set your thinking caps on imagine that watch my cursor if these two bearings are not diverging from the two lighthouses but they are converging from the two lighthouses like my marker shows can this problem be still solved just think on it and i hope you'll be able to come out with even better innovative solutions and come back to me and tell me and i will be most willing to learn and thank you and over and out as i say the biggest thank you is if you are able to practice
Thank you.